Hey YouTube, how the heck you doing? I'm doing great and I hope you are too. I said I was going to do it and I finally did. I pulled the trigger and got an RF lens for my RP camera. Uh, it's not the most expensive. Actually, it's the cheapest one you can get. It's the 50mm uh, 1.8 STM. That's the step motor system on there. So we're going to check this guy out in the box. I'm going to be bringing you some more comparisons with it, but Today, let's look at it against an EF lens. Let's go. So it comes in your standard Canon box, black box. Let me just do a quick unboxing. Nothing really spectacular. Got your manuals and stuff. Got some cardboard little packaging material and then inside the box is the RF lens all plastic wrapped and everything ready to uh, be presented to the owner so first thing out of the box I noticed that it is quite compact uh, it's got the uh, little cover for the lens attachment on the one side it comes with its own little lens cap on the other side to protect the lens. I'll probably get a uh, another probably get a filter on this end so I can protect the uh, glass element in there because it is pretty uh, easily uh, gotten to from that viewpoint so I will have to protect that out in the environment. Overall it's uh, plastic construction. It does have the metal and electronics at the one end where it connects to the camera. Otherwise basic, compact, very lightweight I do have my EF lens here too. Uh, I would say it's probably almost twice as much in weight than the RF lens. It does have a little more metal to it as far as the construction. It does have the 1.4 so it does have a few more aperture stops than the RF lens. I'll probably do a comparison down the road on that. Uh, barrel wise or diameter about the same height you're looking about another lens cap and I do have a lens uh, filter on this one so it does bring it up a little bit higher but overall I would say it has another half inch to go as far as height but the thing you really notice is the weight of the lens itself with the caps off and looking down the lens on each of them you do notice that the EF lens does have a much wider opening uh, the aperture like I said is a little wider 0.4 stops down so it would give you a little bit more but I thought I could probably trade the two between the, the lens as far as the filter but I'm gonna have to uh, reach out and get my own filter for this RF lens uh, there's been some talk about it not doing uh, the best as far as video so I'm going to be testing that this is the STM which is a step motor system the EF uses USM which is an ultrasonic motor system ultrasonic usually a little more accurate and faster for focusing STM a little quieter for the uh, videoing so I'm going to try to do both tests on those as far as video a little picture taking as far as focusing quickly in action and stuff and I'll probably throw this one in with my comparison with my 6D up against my RP camera. So look forward to that coming, dropping real soon. I know you've been waiting for that one as far as uh, doing the manual uh, input of the aperture in the ISO and everything. Not letting the camera do everything and seeing exactly what they can do. But this will be the first uh, of my arsenal in the RF lenses. Uh, like I said, it was the cheapest one is 199. The next step up in the 35 millimeter that I've been looking at is a 1.2, I believe, aperture, and that runs about 499 to 450 or 450 to 499, depending on a sale. So we'll be bringing that to you hopefully in the near future. We'll be getting out in the field more. Uh, the snow is still coming down. We got a couple of storms uh, the last couple of days nine inches probably not much to some of you quite a lot to others but uh, we'll see how that goes just why I bring you this real quick guys get out there in the field drop some questions or comments down below if you have this lens or if you want to find out more about this lens 
let me know down below. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.